So Redriven Power was founded in September 2007 and we began selling small wind turbines at that time uh, prepared or manufactured by a single source supplier out of China. And uh, so we could buy the entire system, the turbine, the tower, the blades, the inverters, everything. But we very quickly noticed that there were problems with the system. And so we started developing around the problems until we actually developed our own complete system. And so uh, we, we've been selling those systems now for approximately a year. And they're in the field and they're working very well. So we sell a 3 kilowatt, 5, 10, 20, and 50 kilowatt system on 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36 meter towers. And one of the things that makes our technology a little bit unique is the hydraulic tower. So literally the towers lay down to the ground, so you don't need a crane to install it, and you don't need a crane to maintain it. And this results in a total cost of ownership savings to the clients of about $30,000 over the life of the turbine um, in terms of those annual maintenance costs and, and the installation costs. The second way that we differentiate ourselves in the small wind space is through internet connectivity. Every one of our small wind turbines is internet connected and that's a bi-directional functionality which means that each one of our clients gets a website that they can go to, monitor their own power production in real time, turn the turbine on and off um, and they get to see that in real time, they can show their friends um, and, and they can monitor their power production so that they get a sense of what it is that, that is working for them, how much power they're making. The third way that we differentiate ourselves is through, uh, is through our product breadth. So we, uh, we have a 3, 5, 10, 20, and 50 kilowatt unit on 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36 meter towers, all hydraulic. Um, and so that allows the dealer to have a one-stop shop in terms of manufacturers. And that's very convenient because they only have to deal with one type of installation process, one foundation, one type of software, one manufacturer's processes, and they really like that so they don't have to learn all these different ones. Mostly what we hear in the media today is objections around health and the visual impact of wind farms. And of course that relates to large wind. And large wind, let's say a two, uh, two megawatt unit, is 2,000 kilowatts. Our largest system is 50. Again, we have three, five, 10, 20, and 50. So the impact of one unit in a landscape is very different than the impact of perhaps hundreds in a landscape. The large windswept area allows us to rotate at a lower RPM, and the blades do not have an aggressive profile, so they don't make a lot of noise when they're turning. So in terms of impact of, of local environment and, and neighbors and that kinds of things, there is some visual impact because it can be a, 120 feet tall, um, but again, not, not the kind of impact that a wind farm has. In terms of noise, the, often I've heard in the media about the, um, the grinding of the gearbox, and, and we do not have a gearbox because we're a direct drive unit. We sell to three segments, agriculture and uh, commercial industrial institutional type uh, buyers, as well as residential homeowners. Each one of those segments has their own desires and wishes of what they would like to get out of a wind turbine. For instance, uh, a walnut farmer in Northern California has four of our units and he uses the, uh, the 20 kilowatt units mm -hmm. in order to offset his diesel costs for running his deep water irrigation pumps. Uh, in the Virgin Islands, we have a client with a 10 kilowatt who uh, brought the can when the hurricane was going through actually brought the tower down so that he could protect his investment. In the commercial institutional type market, there's a school in Ohio that purchased three of the systems in order to teach the students about renewable energy, but also uh, to reduce their electricity bill. These are all grid-tied units today. We are in the process of developing an off-grid unit, but today we sell all on-grid units. Well, the first thing you would do is contact one of our dealers, and then the dealer would take you through the process of applying to the local uh, county for permitting to put the, tur the, perma the, the turbine up. And then once the turbine, depending on the jurisdiction, it, it can vary a little bit, but once the turbine is up, then the uh, customer would apply for interconnection to the grid and once that is granted then basically the meter starts turning backwards when the wind is blowing and uh, the customer then gets uh, rebates or funding based on, on those feed and tariff rates. Well I think the, the general market sentiment has been what can I do to reduce my carbon footprint? What can I do to help the planet? So there, there is that driver, there is uh, 
there is a there is a need for business for individuals for institutions to find ways that they are showing that they are supporting um, that effort the, the market drivers that we're finding is the value proposition that we're offering is being really taken up by the dealers and the customers and so we're seeing a lot of growth in the small wind space and I think the small wind space has traditionally suffered from a lot of startups that that could not deliver on the goods and consequently the power production was not as as advertised and depending on the wind speed um, and and where you achieve that that maximum power you might never actually see that power at maximum power perhaps one or two percent of the time so delivering what we've what we've tried to do is is under promise and over deliver on the performance of the system and on all the features and benefits that we provide so the market generally has grown um, from 2001 to 2008 at an average rate of 46 percent a year. So it has been growing quite substantially and I, I think this comes back to the focus of small and community wind where individuals again want to make that difference and community wind uh, projects also want to make that difference and our units are well placed to, to answer those needs. There's, there's a lot of, uh, of R&D right now going on in the small wind space. There's a lot of players. It's a very fragmented market and I think we've put together the system that can be the dominant player and uh, we're, we're, that's what we're working on.